It's a new day in youth work. Bullying going on online, trauma-informed care, opioid addictions, sex trafficking, you name it. As you are a youth worker entering the field, it's not enough just to be good with kids. It is your, their best bet to help them get through something. A youth worker often is the frontline person who's there when the parent isn't there. Um, the first time I ever heard about the journey was through a professor of mine who said she wanted to nominate me for this program. I had no idea what she was nominating me for. I was a little nervous. I had no clue. Uh, a friend of mine, Stephen Gill, who was also an executive fellow, I'm not sure what year, uh, he just out of the blue told me that he recommended me for it. And then when I got uh, the email about it, I'm like, I don't even know what this is. My first experience into the journey um, was actually at the state fairgrounds and as I stepped off the elevator, I immediately realized how much I didn't perceive that I was going to fit in. The faces that were around me were the typical 18, 19, some 20, 21, a few others, but mostly all young students and not being a traditional student, I immediately felt like a fish out of water. I think when people come in, I think they have simultaneous low expectations and high expectations. That's what I, my observation has been. Meaning, their low expectation is, I hope this doesn't suck. <laughs> so that's the low, ex the low expectation is just as it wouldn't be so bad. I think also that they have the same expectation I think most people have, which most people want to come alive. I first heard about the Journey Fellowship through my friend Andrew. He didn't really have the right words to describe what it's about. Um, and now that I've gone through it, I can understand that it's something very difficult to explain. The Journey is a fellowship program for people who either work in the field of youth work or are thinking about going into the field of youth work. So there are three levels. There is an executive fellowship level, and these are for people that are maybe not the executive director of their organization, but they have worked in management levels and been in the field for a long time. The new pros, meaning new professionals, they are the folks who are probably in their first five years of practicing in the field. The third level is college students, and theirs are focused on why do you think you might want to go into this field what about this appeals to you? Just exploring, really, the field of youth work. Every year, 25 people go through the program at each of those three levels. So they are all cycling simultaneously. Now, this is the 15th year, there are about 1,000 youth workers working in the state of Indiana that have been through the Journey Fellowship. When we meet, it's always uh, a transformative experience. Um, we, we, we spark ideas, build off each other. Um, we all come from different backgrounds, but it's all youth work in general. Committing the hours outside of work like I used to, um, and just putting my full weight in the harness like I used to is getting harder and harder. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not looking for an out. I just maybe need to take myself to a movie a little more often. <laughs> it helped. Here at The Journey, I literally did not have to be that on top of my best game for the person that may be watching or expecting a certain answer or expecting a certain image. It was literally just a bunch of family getting together to check on one another, to talk about how do you go from here, how do you keep doing this work, how do you not give up when we need you the most. I believe the journey is totally, totally necessary for youth workers because youth workers are impactful in their daily lives. The support we, we provide to youth is impeccable and on a daily basis there is a lot of burnout. Um, and so allowing individuals to be renewed, and this is what the journey allows, the renewal process to happen, we are invigorated to go back and do even more with what we've been asked to do and been charged to do with youth in America. All right, so there is no right answer, <laughs> there is no expected answer, except that you would be 
use it as a time to reflect about your own experience in the journey and and believe like we do that whatever your experience is that's an, that's enough more than enough for all of us to be having our own level of significance and ways of significance around the journey and, uh, one of the misconceptions about the journey might be that it's um, it's about going from some place and to another place uh, in Instead, it's more like it's about the process of journeying. There's something that happens when youth workers travel together. There's a camaraderie that develops that seems to be invaluable. I mean, what value can you put on friendship, on colleagueship? There's something about learning from others who are traveling nearly the same path that you are because they are also dealing with the fact that they just went through a divorce, they have three kids, and they're running an agency that has a board that doesn't understand them. Isn't that nice to be walking and journeying together with a person who also gets that? Or maybe someone who got it last year and knows something about it, right? The journey for me has made me dream bigger and help others dream bigger and not be afraid to take the step forward to do the things that you're passionate about doing. I was the kid who lived through a lot of trauma and was saved because of youth workers. I shouldn't have survived and been okay, but am because there was a teacher or there was an after-school counselor and there were individuals along the way who showed me kindness, who showed me love, who helped me know that I deserved better. My goal is to go out there and help families and empower parents to help their students to make the changes that they need to make so that we not only provide services for them after school, before school, and other things, but then to help their home life be better so that one child doesn't have to live through the things that I've lived through. And before the journey, I wouldn't really talk about those experiences because I thought that they were hush-hush and to be socially accepted, you just don't talk about these things. But instead I've realized that through talking about it, um, the more I heal, the more I am able to help others heal on their journey and realize that we've all had experiences that change us and mold us. And the journey's empowered me to have a voice.